and I'm here at Tel Aviv with Sultan Khalifa, and I just had an amazing time with the overall experience. I just want to see, okay, what's your first impressions when you saw something like this? Ah, uh, uh, I was mind blown to be honest, especially yeah. in this room that we are in right now. This is where you can customize your own simulator. By the way, it's like buying your own car, but this is buying your own. Simulate. This is virtual. Yeah, it's crazy. like when you go into a luxury dealership and all of a sudden this is like Lamborghini type Lamborghini, thing. McLaren, like yeah. all supercar uh, uh, companies. This is the same, but yeah. in the virtual world. So, let me show you what you can actually do and customize for your own sim. As you can see here, this is the base, the cover on the simulator that's going to be on the top. You can choose any of these and there's more options as well. That is not shown here, but these are the most uh, known colors that we have. Even you can have your own carbon fiber simulator. Imagine yeah. having a full carbon fiber sim. Even your chassis and screws, you can customize the colors. Whether you want it leather, Alcantara, we've got everything. Uh, these are the chairs that we use for our simulators. Um, and also, the chair is also customizable. Oh, but this is like an F1 proper seat. Yeah. Uh, Formula Formula One, Formula Two, Formula Three seat. Um, and this is the fun part of the simulator. These are the pedals and so the, this is the crazy stuff. The crazy thing on this set. So this is actually made by Telios, like made by us in the factory. Everything you see here is hand and designed by our designers and engineers. So you can't find this with SimCube, you can't find it with Fanatec. You like, you can it. only find it here in with, Telios uh, only. with Telios. Exactly. Like, now we can really see the big thing. I mean, it's like absolutely... I, I don't think I've ever seen a load cell like this one. It is pretty heavy when you think about it. It really is. And you actually tried it. I, yeah, I, I, really I tried. I really want to know what do you think. At first for me it was like stiff and I couldn't get used to the brakes okay. and I just couldn't like I couldn't feel it but after a while you really get used to it like with any load cell I guess. Exactly. But like, compared to others I think this is the most fun you've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say that I just need to get used to it more because I'm just, I mean, I've spent like maybe what, 35-40 minutes on the rig? Total, yeah. Probably I, an hour. Probably yeah. an hour or something like that. And all, I mean, okay, at the beginning it was like Okay, leave me alone. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't know what I'm doing. And then later, as slowly as I progressed, I just got so used to it. But it felt like when, it's go when you're actually going off the brakes, it feels like it's kind of there. It feels like really natural. And that's, I guess, what you want really out of a, out of a brake in general. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is really nice. They even have AC on this. See, also on the screen, you can see yeah. that's the AC that comes out from yeah. here. So like, basically everything. Just like the whole experience I mean you got I think you can adjust pretty much anything with just a couple of clicks basically it's just basically. It's, you can adjust it with a small machine yeah it comes on the side of the sim it has three uh, colors the green white red so green is for the pedals to push it back and forth yeah the red is to put the uh, the wheel base to go up and down and the white is to put the steering wheel front and back Okay. So the only thing that you can't adjust is the seat. So everything is fixed except the wheelbase, steering wheel, and the pedals that you can move by click of a motor. Yes, yeah, I'm talking. This is what I know is because I was just, I just sat in, into that seat and it was like, okay, what do I, what do, I do now? But it's like, okay, just a couple of just, clicks. Yeah, exactly. Just a couple of clicks and you are, exactly. like, you're done. You are like, you're used to having a seat that you can just adjust it from down. Yeah, yeah I got like that very well. This is a whole different level. So yeah, this just automatically, whatever you need, it's here. It's the future of some race. Yes, yeah, exactly. it's the future. And also yeah. the price, is, it's the future. Speaking of the price, Speaking yeah. of the price, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So one simulator costs 250,000 dirhams, which is equivalent to $70,000 for one simulator. Yeah. And the more uh, customizable designs you're gonna add to it, the price will go up. You can add motion, uh, motion to the sim. It will cost you more. So every single detail you want to increase, it will keep climbing and climbing. Yeah. Climb. I think you mentioned Charles Leclerc has one. Yep, Charles Leclerc has one. Supercar Blondie has two. 
quite a uh, few celebrities. Quite a staggering amount of yeah. people. Celebrities, uh, celebrities. racing car, race car drivers, uh, pilots. So we've got a couple of few people. I think that's there is actually a good reason why I believe. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you see all of this stuff and even like the whole presentation room that you see, it's like. It's a myth. It's it's on another level, to be honest. And, and we were uh, the first to collaborate with the Dubai police and give them our simulators, and we made their own Dubai police simulators as well. Yeah, I think I also saw that one. I was like, okay, this it, looks it's nice. Quite, it's quite. It, it looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah. I think we talked about the customizations. So now you see it like all of the AC. Uh, pretty much everything is here put together. Exactly. So this is one of the designs that we made for like special events. You can see it's like black with gold. We have one that's fully carbon and we have one that's fully gold. As what? Gold. Gold, like proper gold. Like you have a golden set. Golden set. That was our first simulator that we created. Um, like they, they actually have a golden set. Yep. Like from proper gold. I'll send you a picture of it as well. Okay. So I mean, I, I, I need it. <laughs> I need to see it myself. One click of a button, green, move forward, backward, again, white, same thing, and red. As you can see, we have our own Everything. section on the left, or F1 merch. Uh, this is like, this is literally the F1 store online, but you got it here. Here. When, just when you look around, I think you see the full story yeah. behind it. Like, it's connection to like the real motorsport and then you connect it to the sim exactly and all of a sudden you connect it with f1 and the place everything yeah. even even if someone is not into motorsport they can just come here have a coffee and chill you are also the ambassador of the Leos dome yes i am the ambassador of the Leos dome and the uae sim racing champion as well right uh, and I've got some good achievements when it comes to sim racing. I noticed a couple of videos on YouTube as well. On YouTube, and we've, we've raced together yeah, as well. We've raced together as well. Um, so there's more to come as well. So stay tuned for that as well. Stay tuned for that. Uh, by the way, the links are going to be down in the description if you want to check them out. And I think this really uh, pretty much sums it up. So once again, Sultan, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Hopefully, I'm going to be here another time. For sure.